about to hear another episode of The Last of the Mohicans, dramatized and directed by Charles Frederick Lindsley. During the massacre at Fort William Henry, Cora Monroe was captured by the sly fox, leader of the treacherous Iroquois. Hawkeye and the two Mohicans, Chingakook and Uncas, spurred on by the frantic fear of young Major Hayward, have taken up the trail. Several days have passed, and as yet they have failed to find any trace of the sly fox and his war party. It is midday, and the two whites are resting at a small forest stream, waiting for the Mohicans who have gone into the woods alone to continue the search for some sign of the Huron. It's hopeless, Hawkeye. This trackless jungle would hide an army. I told you you'd lose the trail if you didn't follow it from the fort where we first picked it up. Patience, patience. That's what you've been saying for two days. I have been patient. It looks to me like you're just tramping around in a circle. You can dispense with my services if you wish, Major. Oh, forgive me, Hawkeye. I'm sorry. I owe you everything, even life itself. I'm distraught, that's all. Cora is all the world to me. To think of her in the hands of that ravaging savage drives me mad. Three days of fruitless searching. Days are nothing in a case of this kind. I've followed a blind scent for weeks. But I've always fetched my quarry. You must have some theory you're working on. Yes, I had one. When I found the home path of the Hurons ran north, I thought they'd follow the valleys and keep between the waters of the Hudson and the Horicon. But human nature is weak, and we may be on the wrong scent. Wouldn't it be wise to go back to the fort and try to pick up the trail from there? Uh, it would delay us a week. Yet if I... There comes Uncas, Hawkeye. So it is. Aye, the boy has news, too, or I'm a half-breed. How do you know? I know the gate. But Chingakook isn't with him. Could anything be wrong? No. He's probably camped somewhere along the trail. How is it, Uncas? Uh, uh, Uncas, fine here on trail. Dark hair, go toward frost. Heaven be praised. You're sure there's no mistake? No, no wrong. Fine here on camp. Magua, make fire, hunt deer. How long ago was the camp made? Two, three days. Then we've almost caught the varmints without knowing it. Where's your father, lad? Stop and wait at camp. Come, follow Uncas. It Come. looks like we're in the enemy country, Major. Our trail may be over before another sun. Lead the way, Bounden Elk. We'll reconnoitre the place for ourselves. There's no mistake about these signs. How many warriors in Magwa's party, Chingakook? Many. Have you found the path for which they left? You run live by water. Walk in stream. Oh, I might have known it. Oh, but they'll follow the water not very far. They'll soon take to the trees again. How close are we getting to them? I sent we're drawing nigh, Major. Ours the open sky through the treetops. We can't attack them openly. Certainly not. Sagamore, you take the hillside to the right. Uncas will bend along the brook to the left. Uh, the Major and I will follow the trail. You run close. Wait for night. Then go look. We're not that close, Chief. Anyway, the sun's almost down now. Don't run the risk of getting separated, Hawkeye. We'll need every rifle if we do have to fight the devil. If anything should happen, Sergeant, the call will be three croaks of a crow. I saw one of the birds fanning himself just beyond that oak. Crow, sign you're on near. Yeah, I know. I think Chia Cook's right. We ought to wait until it's dark before going on. Yes, but we have to get their exact location before we can plan a campaign. Very well. Do you think they may suspect we are so near? No. 
The conceited varmint probably think they've thrown us off entirely. <laughs> the sly fox has a surprise waiting for him. I'm glad Cora's father fell with his troops. This new danger to his daughter would break his heart. Hold. Stop. As I'm alive, thou art one of the miscreants ahead of us now. Where? Fifty rods to your right. An Iroquois? It's a curious dress for a Huron. I can't see his face. His head shaved, though. And he has three hawk's feathers in his warlock. I just need investigating. No, the imp's not a Huron. He doesn't belong to any of the Canada tribes, as far as I can see. He is dressed, oddly. That calico shirt. Ah, the knave's been plundering the white. You can see that. Ah, a murdering set of varmints Montcalm raked up. Can you see his rifle or his bow? What's he doing? He doesn't seem viciously inclined. I don't see any arms, no. But he has long legs that we can't trust. Parky, keep him under your rifle. I'll creep up and take him alive. Don't fire, though, unless... Wait, Hawkeye. He's not an Indian. It's David Garrett. David. David. Stop! Stop! The Philistines! The Philistines! They're just over the hill. Garrett, what are you doing here? Were you taken captive, too? Aye. They're captive to the heathen in a way. Yet not a captive. What the tarnation is the meaning of this, Major? Hawkeye, this is David Gamut, the old singing master we had with us at the fort. He's not right in his head, a little balmy about religion. Where are the Iroquois, David? Where's Cora? Is she with them? She's a captive to the Philistines. Greatly troubled in spirit, but safe enough in body. Who's her captor? Magua? I call him Beelzebub, because I know he's possessed of an evil spirit. I sung him every tune in the hymnal, and I couldn't touch his soul. Where's the knave now? Today he hunts the moose. Tomorrow he goes to Canada. The maid is in the camp behind yonder pinnacle of rock. Has she suffered, did she say? So far as praises and thanksgiving and psalmody can temper the spirit in the affliction, she has not suffered. But why are you permitted to go at large, unwatched? My songs have cast a spell over the heathen. Your profession of singing has saved your life, friend. The red men never harm one they think is not in his right mind. They think you're akin to the great spirit. Ah, uh, but why didn't you strike back on your trail and bring in your tidings to Port Edward? My soul did long for the habitations of Christendom, but I chose to follow the tender spirit rather than leave her in captivity and sorrow. My friends, let us raise our voices in praise for this happy meeting. I will give you the note on my pitch. Uh, not now, David, not now. Your songs may save your scalp, but we'll not be able to pass us half with it if your piping brings a horde of the devils down on us. Yeah, but your presence here, though, is a stroke of good luck. I have a plan, Major. We'll send this man to the lodges. He can give Cora word that we are near. We can signal him to come out if we want to consult again. Do you know the cry of a whippoorwill, friend? Aye, aye. It has a soft and melancholy note. But the time is rather unmeasured. Very well. When you hear the whippoorwill, call three times. Then you are to come into the bushes where the bird... No, I have a better plan, Hawkeye. I will accompany him. You? Are you tired of seeing the sun rise and set? David is a living proof that the Hurons can be merciful. Yes, but he can use his throat as no man in his true senses would provide the gift. But I, too, can play the fool in the matter. Ah, it's suicide, you old I'm friend. resolved. I know the risk and I take the responsibility. Help me with the disguise. Paint me. Change me into anything. A fool. I know. I have a knowledge of French. I'll pass for a juggler from Ticonderoga straggling among the Allied tribes. What will you do when you get to the camp? I'll pretend to know the art of healing. I'll ask to wait on their sick. Yes. In that way, I'll find Cora and plan the best way to escape. 
All right, but listen to me. You mustn't try to get her away alone. You'll need me and the Mohicans. When you find the gal and make our presence known, come back here tomorrow night when the North Star shines above this big pine. You understand? But if I should be recognized and held prisoner, you will not desert Miss Monroe? A gal will be rescued if we have to burn every wigwam between here and Canada. Then call Chinga Cook and have him change me. David and I will go at once. Of the heathen, my friend. This is a case of life and death, David. You must be careful not to betray me. Remember now, I am just a wandering buffoon, a comic entertainer. You happen to meet me, understand? Aye. But how will you converse with them? You speak the language of the heathen? No, but I know some French. Some of their chiefs will surely be able to understand. What is that large shelter of bark and branches in the middle of the camp? Tis there the chiefs hold their councils. A sort of a tabernacle, so as to speak. Though I can't say they know much about singing hymns. Enough of that. Listen to me. We walk slowly toward that house, go inside and sit quietly until somebody speaks to us. Let me do the talking. And don't show any surprise at anything I do. Are you ready? Aye. No act of mine will molest you. One thing more. Is Magua here in the village now? You mean the Beelzebub who brought us into the woods? Of course. He will be back tonight. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> Whence comes the discord? Has hell broke loose? Lie still. It's on the other side of the camp. Methinks the devils are practicing for another massacre. It's too dark to tell very much from here. Let's get closer. Something has happened to drive them crazy. Perhaps the one you call the sly fox has returned from the hunt. It's more than that. Sounds like a returning war party. We can tell in a moment, though. They are building up the fire. That's what it is, David. Look, coming down from the trees on the right. The camp's gone wild. Even the children. It is a war party. Aye! The Philistines have fetched another captive. He's fussed up like a fowl. Ah! But it's a red skin. Let the devils howl over their own kind. What difference... David! That... David! It's Uncas, the Mohican! 